Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante, and we're live here at the Strata Conference in Santa Clara, California, O'Reilly Strata. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship product. We try to extract the signal from the noise and bring to you, our audience, the happenings at events like this. Uh, we did 27 events last year, and uh, our goal is to do more this year, so we're well on track for that. Thanks for watching, everybody, your great audience. We appreciate the tweets. I'm at D Vellante. My co-host, John Furrier, is on a break right now, but he's at Furrier. And we have a special segment right now with HP. Uh, HP's obviously been a, a lot in the news lately. Uh, they're really trying to uh, put together a big data strategy and go to market. They're a huge player. Obviously, they've got a giant portfolio in this space and some, a few secret weapons, and we're here to talk about that. Uh, Sanjay Marie Madaya is back, and uh, you just met him. He's running strategy for big data and focusing on the, on the products and the portfolio. And also Chris Sandlin, who's the VP of marketing at Vertica, which is of course an HP company. Gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Great to be yeah. here, Dave. Good to see you guys. So, yep. Strata, uh, this is a big push for HP. Um, we've been at pretty much every Strata, and this is probably the biggest presence we've seen out of HP. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Sanjay, let me start with you. So, what's going on there? Uh, we are excited about the big data portfolio. Uh, we've been in this market uh, long along. Uh, last year, even before we announced any of our big data strategy, we have sold uh, Hadoop plus Vertica solutions to our customers. And it, what we are doing now since last summer is having a more integrated solutions where customers can adopt. So Vertica and Hadoop are integrated in the app system that we announced in December. We have the Vertica Community Edition with the WebHDFS connectors to Hadoop. So customers can now get an appliance where they can put da push data into Hadoop, do the initial processing, and we already have WebHDFS connectors from Vertica 6.1 into Hadoop. So we get the best of the both worlds. At the end of the day, we are here to solve customers' big data problems with an integrated solution. Mm -hmm. So Chris, I remember I met Colin Mahoney. Yes. Obviously you worked very closely with Colin. We were on a plane and we started chatting and we finally had turned to sort of the industry that we were in. Mm -hmm. And I had to break out my notebook because I you know, kind of learned so much from him and the perspectives that, that he had around Vertica. So some of the things that we've been hearing today, obviously you're hearing a lot about the Hadoop distribution wars. Yep. Uh, you guys have chosen not to compete in those, thank you. Um, and uh, <laughs> at least not directly uh, as a Hadoop distribution. Silicon yep. Angle, I think, last week announced its own Hadoop distribution. There just you to go. Flow there you go. Um, uh, the whole SQL meets Hadoop. Obviously, mm -hmm. you are going to participate in that very mm -hmm. much directly. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, the subtext of that is the traditional uh, business intelligence and data warehousing coming together, something that we predicted several years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, security's another one, which is not your, your sweet spot, but really business value yes. is the other big theme that we're hearing. So thinking about those sort of items and the ones that are sort of relevant to Vertica, talk mm -hmm. about your play uh, in the context of, of big data um, at this event. Sure, I mean, I'll start with the last one first. I think what's really gone on in the last, um, really kind of 12 to 24 months is that this whole idea of big data has captured not just the technology organization, which of course is where a lot of the excitement around things like Hadoop is coming from, but it started to capture the CFO, the COO, the CMO, the attention of these line of business execs who are like, now tell me what I can do with it. So, you know, so Vertica has really become a platform and what we're really going to be doing this year is really bringing out our ecosystem, as well as of course working through the HP ecosystem and delivering on these information optimization solutions. Sanjay's offerings, our offerings, our integrated Hadoop offerings, service offerings, and really kind of bringing solutions to market that have real business value behind them. Um, as to one of your earlier points, you know, it's not even just so much SQL plus Hadoop, it's really kind of storage plus analytics plus catalog, catalog and managing all of this big data. You know, one of the things we talk about, and you've probably heard Colin talk about this a lot as well, you know, we hate when companies throw away data. And so much data is now coming in, and Hadoop gives us a great platform to store and catalog and manage it, but Vertica's really the engine for analyzing it. So we see, we see Hadoop as highly, highly complementary to what we do at Vertica. And as you said, we've chosen to really go the broad approach. So as soon as you guys get your distribution and marketing, yeah. are you there yet? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we we're, we're all over we partnering, partnering, partnering broadly, yeah. as broadly <laughs> as possible. 
do the right thing for the customers and really you know, be as customer friendly as possible. So the other yep. subtext of that, as I mentioned, is the whole BI uh, world, the traditional BI world. And mm -hmm. I feel like the traditional BI folks have been sort of sitting back saying, all right, this is a dupe thing. We really don't you know, want to play or know how to play or organizationally we're not ready to play. Mm -hmm. um, do you see that changing? What role can you play in facilitating that change? And what does it mean for the sort of future of, of, of BI and data warehousing? Well, that's something we can help bridge. And that's one of the reasons we're working so closely with these guys. You know, I think you see most of the major, both what you call traditional BI and sort of what I call next generation interactive BI um, companies out here on the floor. And most of them are partners of ours. Again, we've got like 40, ish partners, and I'm just talking about Vertica, not of course all across HP. So we've got a very broad partner ecosystem. And you know, a lot of what we do with the Vertica technologies help to bridge that gap. So. Now, Sanjay, um, your job is you got to pull together this vast portfolio yeah, and absolutely. present it in mm -hmm. a way that's cogent to customers. So I just, sort of before we came on, I'm thinking about the pieces, and I'm sure I missed some, but obviously you got the, the metal, you got the servers, the storage, the, the networking pieces, you got Vertica, you got Search, with, with Search Plus I'll call it, with autonomy. autonomy. You got in the security side, you got ArcSight. Yep. Um, you've got this new thing out of HP Labs called Express Query, which we yep. positioned, when we first saw it, we said this could be the future metadata indexing engine. Um, you know, I know that's used in, in things like StoreAll, but it's got a lot of potential yep. there. And the big one that nobody ever talks about is services. Absolutely. We've quantified the services is the biggest opportunity because you got to put all this stuff together and make it work and extract value. So, did I get it right? <laughs> uh, what am I missing? How are you putting all that together and going to market? Now, absolutely, I mean, that's what makes HP such a strong player in big data because we have solutions in every layer of the stack. Uh, you hit it right on the Express Query. Uh, we take about HP Labs on innovation mm -hmm. side, not just Express Query, we have had uh, Aria, a project within HP Labs, which is uh, working on a new scheduler for Hadoop, uh, for better managing the jobs on Hadoop cluster. So look at every layer of the stack, and when you talk about services, there are two angles to services. One is at business value, through information management and analytics division in enterprise services, and there is at an infrastructure level, where we have technology services, where we help customers to put together that enterprise grade big data platform. It's not just Hadoop. So when we go talk to customers, they first ask us, tell us more about Vertica, autonomy, your enterprise services capability. So we want to talk about Hadoop first, but then customers want us to bring every piece mm -hmm. of HP together. And uh, that's the real value of HP. And uh, we are just starting with Vertica. Uh, you rightly pointed out, there are lots of solutions integrating autonomy as well. But yes. we are excited about this coming year. You'll hear a lot more from us. Uh, so I think HP is very well positioned for big data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, customers are excited, right? You, got, you guys got very loyal customers, and Absolutely. I'm sure they're looking for, okay, how can HP help us? You're our primary supplier, how can you help us bring these things together? Um, one of the things that uh, I've also heard at this event is the, starting to hear, anyways, the theme of data management. Uh, some of the Huge. traditional ways of ma managing data um, don't necessarily apply to big data, but some of the concepts do. Uh, what are you guys seeing there? Um, Chris, maybe you could comment, and then you know, maybe specific to Vertica, and then Sanjay, maybe more broadly. Um, is this a do-over in data management, or can we actually apply those to Hadoop and big data? Well, I, I don't think it's so much that they don't apply to, because I think conceptually a lot of the concepts hold, but it's whether they can scale for. Yeah, we got to have because data the quality, need, the need obviously. Because the scale right? I mean, is so what's really driving exactly. so much of that. Yeah, right. That's a lot of what's different. Mm -hmm. And then, as Sanjay said so well, and I tried to say it earlier, and he definitely said it better than me, as he usually does, it's really about where technology meets business value. That's really the point that we have to hit. And that's why, you know, not just, obviously I represent one of our business units and I hope one of our core components, I know one of our core components, but at the same time, it's about bringing this portfolio together, about delivering business solutions to market, really, and scaling for this world of big data that we're in right now. And again, it's not just, you know, we all know the three Vs, it's not just how big it is, but how fast it's moving and the amount of structured, unstructured, semi-structured data that companies are needing to deal with these days from all sorts of different sources. So, so, so our organizations, Sanjay, are not set up today to, to really take the, the concepts that it's taken decades for them to apply in data governance and data management and data quality and just slap it onto big data. I mean, yeah. clearly there's a gap there. So how are you helping people close that gap and how long do you think it's going to take? No, as you, the, what I'm observing right now in the marketplace and when you come to conferences like Strata is that, yeah, there is great momentum, the adoption is increasing for big data, but still, we are miles away from this being main stage. 
When you look at it, it's not just about Hadoop. I mean, in a way, it's good that Strata is making it more as Strata big data rather than just Hadoop, uh, the, the theme. So we look at two tiers. HP, there's a data tier going on and there's a storage tier. So it's the life of the data. You follow the life of the data. So data moving from just at the OLTP transaction all the way to age data where you need analytics. And at some point, you need to have it stored. So we are addressing from that angle as well as when customers are adopting, technology services is a huge component. We are building practices based in TS consulting, which is more at the infrastructure level, and marrying that with enterprise services, which looks talks to line of business owners. Mm -hmm. And in addition, HP is big believer in partner ecosystem. So the SI partnership is important for us. So that, that's a good example of what Chris, what you were talking about this, they do apply. Take the, the life cycle management, I mean we talk about information mm -hmm. life cycle or application life cycle management for years, that concept definitely applies. It's just different scale, different speed, different volumes. And much more variety, yeah, and much more about. variety, but yes, absolutely. And as you know, we mentioned some of the other, you know, where the, the autonomy technology and some of the other technology that we have in our portfolio really comes in and provides power. And the ability to, again, integrate all of this into a Hadoop platform and then, as we said, work across the... So, so I see in some ways your, your biggest strength is your biggest challenge is your organization. You got, you're so big. Now you're, mm -hmm. you, got, you got a division, mm -hmm. right? But you're working within this rubric of HP's big data mm -hmm. strategy. So yep. how does that work? It's obviously a matrix organization. You know, what, what do you, you know, what kind of latitude do you have in terms of go to market? What do you have to get from the sort of umbrella? How does that all work? Are you still sorting that out? Um, no, I think, I think, and I, hopefully Sanjay would agree with me, yeah, that yeah. we're working more and more and more closely together. Now again, we're very customer driven. So, you know, we love customers who want to buy everything from HP, but at the same time, you know, we'll, we, we don't like to force anybody to rip and replace anything. We try to come in and compliment. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's why I, even though I live on the East Coast, I find myself out here, it seems, all the time, because we are doing a lot more together as an organization. And I think even if you go see our presence on the floor, exactly. you'll see much more of a unified HP these days than you would have seen. You know, I wasn't, I actually joined HP just under a year ago, so I wasn't here a year ago, but I think certainly much more than you've probably seen in the past. Now, we, yeah, we all have our separate goals and such, but at the same time, there's a lot of unification going on. So we're really trying to bring a unified message to market, and hopefully we're delivering that today. All right, Sanjay, uh, we, we got like under 20 seconds, but I, I want to hear from you, give you the last word on your sh the strategy and the vision, if you can sum it up succinctly for us. HP strategy and vision and big data. So for us, when you look at strategies, we look at two parts. One is the data sources and the life of the data. So we are addressing holistically. HP's vision is to add structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. Mm -hmm. We already have portfolio to cover all the three, and when it comes to the life of the data, we can handle all the way from the source, when the data is created, till the data is aged and stored. All the way from analytics, and once the analytics is done, you need to retain the data. So HP is very well positioned, and that's the reason why Meg Whitman has made Big Data as one of the key strategic initiatives within HP. All right, folks, HP, uh, obviously huge company, throwing off a lot of cash, paying off some debt. In big data, we just quantified the big data market, and not surprisingly, HP is one of the leaders. A uh, big part of that is, uh, is a services business, and it's a very vast portfolio, so obviously we'll be watching this space. Thanks for watching, everybody. Gentlemen, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thanks, Keep it right there. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back after this. Thanks.